we have begun. Yes, sir. We were dropped off at a little creek bridge because we couldn't find the official trailhead. Yeah. Uh, but nothing a little bushwhacking can't solve. Boy. We found our actually quite wide trail. Honestly, like if it's like this all the way to Camp One, it's it's going to be yeah. good going. No and uh, I don't know. Like I would say I'm excited, but there's just so many weird emotions for a trip of this big that I've never done. Yeah. I don't really know how to describe it. I feel like I'm gonna pop with okay. excitement. It's quite exciting. It is indeed. We'll keep you up to date on uh, how the day goes and what sort of fun events unfold. Yeah. And right. remember, a trip of a thousand miles starts with a single step. <laughs> oh God. All right, let's cut that. Be better. <laughs> So we're about 3K into our 14K for today. And uh, kind of weird, we've been seeing a lot of sawdust along the trail. It's like they've been cutting logs or something. Yeah, not sure what that's about. Like really fresh, so maybe a bunch of trees fell over or something recently. Yeah. Um, we found this lovely viewpoint right here. River down there, Otter Tail River. Behind us and down that way is mountains. Can't really see them, it's overexposed. Do that. Oh, there you go much prettier so somewhere down there is like rock wall trail and stuff like that not entirely sure which peak is which but we'll get there when we get there yeah it's looking like we'll hit camp a little early which is nice because we are supposed to get some rain later today not sure exactly when yeah, the clouds um, don't look great right now but but it would be bad. would be nice to just have the tarp up yep. first thing so we are going to hit you back later where it's uh 10 20 a.m so we did 2.7 k in about 40 minutes which is not a bad pace and we'll try to continue that a little more. And it's just getting a little sunny right now. So Catch you on the flippity flop. Catch you. Oh, God. <laughs> this vlog is going to be all bad sayings. <laughs> we should have paid right now. So I got a little rainy out, threw up the uh, umbrella, put the pack cover on. Liam's back here. He's got his poncho system rocking. And here we are, trying to flip it. At the Otter Trail River, the trail came right next to the river, so we get a little view. Got about 8K left to our campsite. It's a relatively easy trail, so it's not, a, it's not gonna be too long of a day. But the rain has turned on, and there's no knowing when it will turn off. So. It's only light right now. I shouldn't have said that, should I? I'm jinxing it already. Anyways, we're doing good. Had a snack break, took a dump. <laughs> Maybe you don't need to know that, but yeah. First dump of the trip, because I'm sure not going to be able we to tell. That we should tell them all about our our BMs, our bowel movements. <laughs> I'm sure as hell not going to be able to hold it in for 16 days. So, anyways, that's pretty much it. Keep you posted. It's very very pretty river. Liam was saying how it looks like Mountain Dew coming out of there. What's yeah. the flavor called? It's like the white something. Oh no, it's like the Gatorade, um, oh, Gatorade. Ch cherry, glacier cherry. That's it. Oh, I thought you said it was Mountain Dew. Anyways, beautiful day so far. Let's see what else we have in store for us. So we show up at our first campsite, and there's like a million trees downed on the ground everywhere. Oh, right up. There's tent pads covered. There's. There we go. Just destruction kind of all over the place. Yeah, like, like over there. Like, right here, there's just a massive chunk, and then over there, even worse. And the trees are still, like, shifting and settling. It's like it happened really recently. Yeah. So, yeah, a lot of the tent pads are not usable. They're just covered in trees, and either that or they have unstable trees right next to them. <laughs> like, yeah, not really uh, ideal. So we are debating the potential of staying in this, like, supply shed. Yeah. that they have. I mean, I, we're not technically supposed to, I assume, but I don't really see a good safe camp option. Yeah, um, like all these trees don't so, look very stable. No, a lot of them are pretty, like there's a lot of angled ones. There's a big chunk of angled ones right over there. See that? Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. We'll look around. We'll figure it out. Uh, there is another group here, though. Uh, they came from the rock wall. They're going the opposite way that we're going. So tomorrow's their last day out. Um, meanwhile, we're on day one of 16. Yes, sir. And I think they made fun of my umbrella. They were giving me some looks. But, you know, 
I'm liking it right now. I like not having to wear a rain jacket, so. Mm -hmm. We will hit you back when we've decided what we're doing for our sleep arrangement. Wow, look at this. That, that was once a tent pad. And now there's like six oh, yeah. or seven trees on it. That one's been uprooted entirely. Yeah. That's ridiculous. This is insane, man. Anyways, we will hit you back when we have- Catch you on the flippy flop. Okay. Oh God. Oh God, who, who have I gone into the woods with for 16 days? We will let you know what we decide for the sleep arrangements. We are at MacArthur Creek Campground. And here is the patrol cabin and Liam and I with all our gear spread out. The rain has decided to pause for a little while. Liam's in his underwear. Um, so we've got our pants hung up, we got pack covers hung up, we got poncho hung up, we got pants hung up, we got everything spread out to dry. Um, a lot of the tent pads are covered or kind of sketchy with leaning trees over them, so we are going to borrow this cabin that is unlocked for some odd reason um, because the tent pads look a bit sketchy, honestly. So we're gonna stay there instead. Um, and that'll give us a comfortable night and a good rest for uh, tomorrow to take us up to Good Sir Pass to Helmet Falls. Anything to add? Don't worry, I don't have your legs in it. Um, a beautiful view of a glacier there. Indeed. Um, cool Goodness. mountain right there, but the top's covered, so I can't really see it. Yeah, apparently these are really tall, but you can't quite see it with the clouds right now. Um, yeah, we ran into another group. They were really nice. Gave us yeah. some info on tomorrow's route, said it was nice and easy. Um, oh, yeah. They even gave us some 500 cars. calories. Please. Calories are valuable out here, man. Oh, yeah. Got a scrounge for him. So now we both get an extra cliff bar tomorrow, I guess. Sweet. Or whenever we need it. Cool. All right. We'll hit you back uh, later, maybe at dinner. Got you on the flip flop. Is he going to stop with that, you think? God, I hope so. Here Liam and, are, Liam and I are in our humble evening abode, courtesy of Parks Canada. Uh, we deemed that none of the tent pads were very safe. There were a lot of uh, deadfall and potential deadfall that we're gonna maybe topple onto our um, tent pads. So we just kindly borrowed this repair shed. I should be very clear, we did not bust the hinge. It was already open when we got here. And uh, <laughs> hashtag just woke up to this. Oh my god. <laughs> so I think it's, it's what time is it? Is it 8 p.m.? It is 8 p.m. right so now. So it's 8 p.m. and we're turning it in because it's freaking tiring doing this backpacking thing. Um, nobody else here. No warden, no other backpackers. Get a view there of the, what's it called? The Good Sirs, the tallest mountains in this park. I forget if we're in Yoho or Kootenay. I can't remember. Anyways, uh, as you can see on the sign over here, tomorrow we are heading up to Good Sir Pass and then to Helmet Falls, and we may, if we're feeling it, actually continue to Tumbling Creek. Um, so Good Sir Pass is 9.3K. Beautiful cabin destination in the woods. Um, it's hard to leave because it's one of the few cabins we'll get to stay in. Not like we knew we were going to, but our next cabin isn't until the Police Meadows, which is not until, uh, I don't think we'll get there till our eighth day, uh, which is a ways away, considering one day takes a while. Anyways, very nice meandering in the river. It's very pretty, very nice colored water. Uh, we cooked our dinner just there on the porch of the cabin. Yeah, I can't think of anything else to say except, I don't know, we're doing all right so far. You know, we were sore when we got here, but we stretched out, drank lots of water, ate some good food. Um, our dehydrated chicken stew didn't work excellent. The uh, pieces of chicken actually were kind of hard still, even after like 20 minutes in the pot of water on boiling. Um, so hopefully the other ones work out a little better. Uh, but our sat device is working fine. Um, Food's good, views are good. A little bit of rain today for about, I don't know, three hours, three, four hours. But that's gone now, which is a lovely treat for 
the views all around. I got some uh, flying camera videos. I don't know how the camera flies, but it's amazing. Anyways, time for bed. And I'm gonna say bye to the vlog. Catch on the flippy flop. Okay, no more of that, please.